Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Basic Chemistry for Markovnikov's Rule. All right, so Markovnikov's Rule is a way of predicting what will add to what side of an alkene or alkyne. And so basically, if we have a reaction where we have a double bond, and the double bond is going to end up as a single bond with two things added to it, we have a couple of options. We could add our bromine to this middle carbon, and our hydrogen to this terminal carbon, or we could have it the opposite around. We could add hydrogen here and have bromine here. And so Markovnikov's rule is a rule that we use to predict which one will be major and which one will be minor. And the simplest way to say the rule is that the hydrogen rich get richer. So if you have a carbon that's already hydrogen rich, it'll get even richer, it'll get even more hydrogens. And if you have a carbon that has less hydrogens, it's not gonna get any more. So, in this example, the alkene is between something that has one hydrogen here and two hydrogens here. So we would say that this hydrogen is hydrogen rich. Which means, according to Markovnikov's rule, it's going to get richer. So, between these two products, this one added another hydrogen here, so the rich got richer, and this one didn't. So that means that this one up here is our major product, and this one down here is our minor product. So let's answer why this actually happens. Well, if we redraw our reaction in stick form, we have our alkene here and we have our HBr here. And what happens first is that the alkene is a nucleophile it attaches itself to that hydrogen. So the first mechanism arrow we're gonna draw is our alkene picking up the hydrogen and the bromine breaking off and going by itself. And so now we have a couple of options. We can draw our alkene having our hydrogen here, creating a positive charge here, or we can have our alkene adding here, creating a positive charge here. Both of these, remember, are gonna have a negative bromine floating around. So, if we look at this, we can see that this is a secondary carbocation, and this is a primary carbocation. And remember that a primary carbocation is much, much, much more unstable than a secondary. So, if we can form this, it's going to be a lot more stable than this. So, we're going to take this route up here will be this bromine coming in to attack that carbon. And this reaction ends up giving us our major product. And so even though Markovnikov's rule can be used to predict something, the real reason is carbocation stability. stability. <laughs> I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been How Does Markovnikov's Rule Work?